body language may just be the key to figuring out what people are thinking and feeling, so it's super helpful to know what to look for and what to do when you're interacting with your fellow humans. Here's the body language that attracts people the most, according to the experts. It's been said that the eyes are the windows to your soul, and body language experts Barbara and Alan Peace agree. In their book, The Definitive Book of Body Language, eye contact is the very first step of the attraction process. I want to reward you with five minutes of uninterrupted eye contact. Yay! It works like this. When a person locks eyes with someone they find attractive, they'll hold their gaze for around five seconds before turning away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pump the brakes there, guy. The authors claim that once the googly eyes are reciprocated, that gaze process qualifies as legit flirting. What are you doing with your face? You're not blinking whatsoever now. Behavioral investigator Vanessa Van Edwards says women who are looking to attract a partner will often expose their necks, telling AM Northwest. You see this when women flip their hair back and they show that side of their neck. That's because they want men to sort of smell their pheromones. That's a, oh, wow. a very chemical thing. Women also typically flaunt their necks by tilting their heads when listening to someone they're attracted to. Body language expert Joe Navarro also revealed that the more comfortable two people get around each other, the more head tilting and neck exposing there will be. Oh my god, stop having a moment! When it comes to relationships, many people would advise you to listen to your heart. But it turns out, you should really be following your belly button. Chris Ulrich, senior instructor at the Body Language Institute, told Glamour, Your belly button usually faces the person you most like, admire, or trust. Even if your head is turned towards something or someone else, your belly button is probably naturally pointing to your crush. <laughs> Me sitting over there for the past two hours not being able to take my eyes off of you is a fact. According to Barbara and Alan Peace, women typically offer one or more fleeting smiles when they are attracted to someone. And guess who that smile works on? Literally everyone. Van Edwards revealed in an article for Science of People, both males and females find people with available body language the most attractive. Smiling, uncrossed arms, uncrossed legs, and upward gazing, not looking down at your shoes or phones. Van Edwards also revealed to the mag that uncrossing your arms is yet another way people can signal their availability to someone. And Ulrich agrees, telling Glamour, crossed arms can make you seem closed off or disinterested. You're subconsciously creating a barrier that makes you not as approachable as you want to be. But let's be honest, sometimes crossed arms are needed, whether you're cold or don't know what to do with your hands or you're Wonder Woman. Nevertheless, when it comes to attracting people, open arms are the way to go. If anything, I think you look good to go. Good to go? Good, good to go out and about. Touch can be important in decoding body language. Have you ever casually run your fingers over your supersternal notch? You probably did it without even thinking about it. It's located just between your collarbones, and when you touch it, it signals a green light for a deeper connection. Van Edwards told AM Northwest, So that's a, a signal for a man, okay, we're in intimate territory here. Um, okay. We should tread carefully, but it could be a good thing because she's sort of opening up to you. But it's not just your own neck that you need to touch to attract someone. The definitive book of body language recommends looking for an opportunity to initiate a light touch on the arm, either accidental or otherwise. Ronnie, are you okay? Oh, yeah! Yeah, no, no, no. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 no, don't touch, don't touch. A touch on the hand, for instance, would be considered a higher level of intimacy than a light tap on the arm, according to the authors. And although handshakes don't sound at all intimate, the authors revealed that they're a quick way to level up to your accidental flirty touches. Van Edwards revealed the ultimate flirting tell on AM Northwest, saying, So this is when women tilt their head down, look up at a man, and bat their eyelashes. So this is a, a classic Marilyn Monroe gesture. But while Marilyn may have popularized the ultimate move, even Princess Diana employed similar body language. Van Edwards explained, she would look up at reporters and bat her eyelashes at them, which is one of the reasons why the camera loved her. Thanks to an odd phenomenon dubbed the cheerleader effect, you actually appear more attractive by just being in a group. Science says this is because a group's physical attractiveness is greater than the average attractiveness of its members. Ulrich says that for maximum cheerleader effect, place yourself in the middle of your squad. He told Glamour, it's a way of framing yourself. It literally comes across like you're the center of attention.